Hello everybody. Uh, this is my VHC 2016-27 um, assignment number two video and the question posted by Trish was how do you handle naysayers and who are the naysayers in your life? Well, um, because I haven't really been homeschooling but the idea has been circulated around a bit within the family and friends that I've known. So I have gotten some kind of feedback here and there. And it is usually um, a lot of questions. Uh, first and foremost, I would say the naysayers that I dealt with or I'm still dealing with is family. Because um, behind all the questioning and advice and the suggestions and then the repeated questioning, there is always our own best interest at heart because they are family. Um, and uh, well, I basically come from a group of people who have not been exposed to homeschooling. I have not known any people who have been homeschooled or uh, who are currently homeschooling. So um, naturally that brought a lot of questions to mind for my family. But uh, what I realized was that um, um, as soon as somebody within the family or outside asked me, uh, about when I'm sending my son to preschool, um, I would instantly by default get into a very defensive mode um, and I would just get myself ready to, um, you know, get into a debate. Because it's because of the feedback. Usually what people have to say um, is always, uh, why? You know, why do you want to make this choice? Why do you want to get off of the traditional way of what everybody is doing and why do you have to come out and do this and it is usually um, something that they don't agree with uh, which is what brings on the defensive mode as well so um, that one of the worst things that I felt was that when such topics came up um, it s made me doubt myself as a homeschooling mom um, and that I think is the worst thing ever because once you start doubting your capacities it just brings you down it discourages you and you lose all the vigor and the excitement and it kills the creativity and for anything that you do in life you need to maintain um, the vigor to do it um, and you have to be creative you but when things like these come up then it just makes you doubt what you're doing are you really doing the right thing or maybe you should find the easy way out right now which is just give in and not stick to your choices but i would say really stick to your choices because uh, this is what vhc is all about and this is the reason why i um, really wanted to join because i'm at that stage right now in life where i need that push i need to feel um, you know in a familiar environment where people are bringing each other up rather than bringing each other down. So um, I think uh, it's really, really important to stay positive in order to get anything done in life. Um, people are always going to question whatever choices that you make. Um, I clod diaper, so I'm asked, why do you want a clod diaper? You already have so much work. And now it's, why are you homeschooling? You're already clod diapering. <laughs> I mean, and then they would be like, uh, one of the things that they want to know is your kids are not going to be well socialized. So why create more work for yourself? And are you making the right choice for your child? I just want to say that homeschooling or not, clot diapering or not, working mom, stay at home mom, whoever you are, whatever you choose to do in your life, just know that all moms work around the clock to get anything done for their kids. We give it all for our kids. And uh, how I handle them or would want to handle them is um, by being very patient. And uh, this is something that I'm still new at. So what I'm trying to do is patiently wait out a few years, continue to hopefully do what I'm wanting to do with my kids and to prove that the choices that I have made for my children are well thought out and they are not impulsive and I have their best interests at heart and that um, that these are the, the, the choices that are best suited for my family um, according to my understanding. 
So I would just say encourage each other on and uh, you are going to get questions throughout your life no matter what you're doing. Deal with them patiently and as long as you know what you're doing is right, just keep at it. And uh, good luck to us all. Thank you.